Okay, how low will Neo go? Most of you who have been drawn to this video have never been to my video or my channel before because I'm a long-term investor. I'm not uh, a jump in on trends and and uh, jump out and day trade. I don't do that sort of thing. I'm a I'm a retired financial advisor. I've made my money by buying good stocks, making good investment decisions, uh, learning how and to keep more of what I make by using the tax code to my advantage. And, and my number one goal is to, to build $24 million worth of assets that I can pass on estate tax-free to, to my heirs. So how low can NEO go? Um, first of all, why is NEO coming down so rapidly right now? And it, it has to do with um, our government uh, passing a law that more than likely President Trump will okay, basically saying that if you want to be listed on the American stock exchanges, the NASDAQ in particular, uh, you need to adhere to our audit rules. In other words, we need to be comfortable that the numbers that you're sharing with us are accurate. There's been a lot of documentaries, uh, you can find them on YouTube, where a number of Chinese companies, and I don't think it's probably uh, uh, limited to China, that they submit false numbers. Uh, I watched a video where it showed there was a, a huge factory and um, and it, it was a, a listed stock, but nobody worked in the factory. There was a guy at the gate and that was about it. Um, and that was in China. I saw another one of a mining company that was just an abandoned mine, but it was listed on the New York or on the NASDAQ stock exchange. So what's happening is this is a reaction. Why are people reacting this way? Again, the law says they got three years to comply. Well, I believe NEO is a, is, is a real thing. I believe that uh, they, like Tesla, will make uh, electric vehicles, and they, like Tesla, will appeal to a broad market. Um, we know that China has somewhere in the neighborhood of four times the population of the United States. We know that they have um, environmental problems, So, and we know that the Chinese government is subsidizing the purchase of electric vehicles, and we know that that NEO is one of the leaders in in this whole electric vehicle space around the world. So what we're seeing is panic. We're seeing people who are unfamiliar <coughs> with the stock market don't recognize that we've had this same problem here in the United States. Um, if you want to learn about it, Google Enron. Um, cooked their books for years and, and took a lot of people down. Um, Google Bernie Madoff. I mean, we've, we've got the wolves of Wall Street here, and there I'm sure there are some in China. But I don't, I'm not going to get panicky about this because um, Neo's going to go down, and how low will it go? If I had to guess, it'll go down to its gap. Um, stocks have pretty much a history that they, they will trade within a space and as they go up, if they gap up, in other words, if, if on yesterday a stock hit a, um, a high and then the next day it gapped up and left a gap between uh, today's low and yesterday's high, it will eventually cover that gap. And NEO has a gap. And let me, let me show you where it's at. Okay, here's my chart on NEO. And as you can see, it's, it's had a nice climb and it's gone pretty much straight up, uh, starting, uh, it looks like somewhere around uh, the first of the year. It came around here and then in October, it, it started its climb. But I want to zero in on, let's see, the date is October the 30th. It actually 
um, had a high on October the 30th of 31.59, and then on uh, November the 2nd, so that, that high on the 30th must have been on a Friday. On um, November the 2nd, it gapped up and it had a low of 31.68. And this was a high of 31.59. So there's about a nine cent gap right there. Um, so as you can see, whenever their stock goes up, it comes down and for the most part, it fills that gap. Here's another gap that it, it never filled. And that was on um, October the 13th. It had a high of uh, 21.97. So I would say, if, if I were betting, and I, I don't bet, um, there's a good chance that uh, Neo will come down and fill this gap if, if you all continue to panic relative to the, what the Congress has done. And that's 31.59. So that's what I would, I would suggest you watch. Until it gets there, don't, don't really worry about it. Um, there are no other gaps that it's going to fill. So um, our target is what? 31.59. Um, so that would be where I would say that the low is for NEO. Um, I've got about 600 shares of it. Um, uh, if it goes down to the gap, I'll buy probably another 200 shares because I think it's a player. I think that uh, right now, I believe the world has about on the highways, roughly 4% of the automobiles are electric. Um, I believe that probably by 2030, that'll be probably be up to somewhere in the neighborhood of 25%. So there's tremendous growth potential there. I don't think there's any doubt in anybody's mind that um, that electric vehicles are going to be a staple in our, and, a, and, a, and it's going to be the norm in the future. What I think we're seeing is that there's an awful lot of people who have never really experienced a downturn in the market. So they panic. They, they don't recognize that there are algorithms out there that are, that are basically no where your breaking point is. And it's usually somewhere around 5%. And so if they can lure you down to a 5% drop in a price of a stock, that algorithm will take it all the way down to 10 or 20% drop and just empty your pockets. That's what this business is all about. Um, there are people who get up every morning and say, how can we get Kerry's money? How can we take him from a period of, uh, of uh, comfort, a state of comfort, and take him to a state of panic? And that's what they do. And that's all about you controlling your mind. And this is, this is the frailty of most of us. We have an unwanted roommate who lives in our head and screams out, you need to sell your Neo. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You just listen to some millennial talking head on YouTube that told you to buy this, and he doesn't know what he's doing either. You need to get out now. And that's that's the world we, most of us live in. We have that one unwanted roommate. I don't have that roommate. I uh, I got rid of my roommate when I realized how he was born and where he came from. And uh, that all involved uh, about 10 events in the first 14 years of my life. And I wrote a book about it. Uh, who are you? Why are you you? And then after that, I go into how do I get rid of you? That is my unruined roommate. So if you want to get away from this panic that you feel of how low will Neo go, go down into the description, read my book, and then, and then start reading a lot of books. The world is such that the educated win. Those who follow the herd lose. Those who are educated and understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, win. It's just like going to Las Vegas 
and sitting down at a poker table with 10 people, the smartest guy is going to win. The sucker is the guy who listened to all the propaganda that said, hey, that's an easy way to make money. Listen to me and I'll tell you what cards to play. No, it don't work that way. The smartest guy always wins. And if you aren't educating yourself, and if you don't have a series of books that you've read, if you look at your bookcase and it's, it's, it's filled with music, you're going to lose. You've got to educate yourself. So how low will Neo go? I don't know. I don't really care. Um, if it goes to my gap, I'll buy it. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Neo's going to be all right. 